Stetson University. Hi, I'm Amanda Price, and I am a molecular biology and psychology double major. The topic that I researched was needs assessment for the homeless population in West Volusia County. In the class that I was in, the community-based research class, they had a whole bunch of community partners come in and so, sort of pitch their needs to us. And we as researchers got to choose the one that we were most interested in and form a partnership with that community partner to be able to fulfill that need within the community with the academic skills that we had. Being able to find the connections between what I was doing at school, which a lot of the times can be sort of isolated from the real world, and actually going out into the land and the community and applying what I was learning in class to um, the needs of the people around me. The biggest need that the people that I talked to identified was finding a safe place to sleep uh, through shelters because in West Volusia there are really only around maybe 10 or so available general beds to the homeless population and there's at least um, oh, there's well over a hundred at least in the land so that's a really big discrepancy and it was actually used by people in the community, the research project that I did, to help argue for the creation of new facilities. And so a lot of projects are underway now that uh, can help alleviate that need, which is cool because that I feel like I actually did something worthwhile. Well, community-based research is research where universities uh, use their resources to work with community partners on problems that are identified by the, com by the community uh, and that need the kinds of research expertise that exists among the students, faculty, and staff at a university. I was sort of nervous because it was only four people in the class and um, I hadn't ever used SPSS or any other uh, data analysis tools, but it was really cool because it got, it, I feel a lot more prepared to be able to do senior research when I get to that time because now I'm a sophomore and I worked with Dr. Shore one-on-one -on -one, so it was a really cool experience that way. He helped me hone the survey that I used and what questions to ask and really guided the whole process. Stetson University.